Hey YouTube, the team at Bunsen Labs has released a, have released a new uh, update on uh, Bunsen Labs. It's a Debian-based system that uh, has a customized open box window manager. So it says right here, John Raff has announced the release of Bunsen Labs Linux Boron, a major new release of the project's lightweight Debian-based distribution. Featuring a customized open box window manager, this is the project's first build first build based on Debian 12. So I'm assuming that uh, the latest release, the old, older releases were based on Debian 11. So the, since Debian 12 came out, there's going to be a lot of these uh, releases. So uh, we got the, the ISO downloaded and on a virtual machine. So let's go in there and take a look. All right. English selected, click next, United States, click continue. Actually, I'm just using the return key right now. American English right here, just click continue. Host name set up as Debian, I'll just leave it alone. The mom name, just leave it alone. Full name for a new user. Click enter, click enter, give it a password. Click enter, select time zone, click enter, guide it using tar disk, move the selection to yes, click enter. This will take a couple minutes, so I'll just uh I'll just pause the video. Okay, got an option here to install the bootloader. Yes is already uh, selected, so I'll just click enter. Choose your drive, click enter again, and it's installing the bootloader. And the installation is now complete. It says uh, press choose continue to reboot, so we'll do that. And we are now rebooted, so enter your password to log in. Get a con key with some uh, shortcut keys. And we got our panel here on the left. I don't know if they're trying to do some type of a MX look alike, but anyways. We got a welcome uh, message. Hi Linux, uh, welcome to Bunsen Labs Linux. This is an optional post installation script to help you configure your new Linux installation and get the most out of Bunsen Labs. You will now be presented with a series of options. To see the output of the previous page, you can scroll back in the terminal. If you do not, if you do not want to run the script now, you can run it at a later date with the command, I think it's BL welcome. Yeah, Bunsen Lambs welcome. Message will be saved to home Linux cache Bunsen welcome, BL welcome dialog. Remember that Bunsen Lambs Linux, its component parts are released under the GNU GPL v3 plus license and come without any warranties or support hit enter to continue or key to quit So let's run through this real quick Okay Please enter to start the Bunsen Labs welcome script. Okay, so now I'll give it a password And while it's doing this I'm gonna open up let me see what happened here while false is primarily about freedom and choice, certain choices are known to carry an increased risk of breaking things. While false is primarily about freedom and choice, certain choices are known to carry an increased risk of breaking things in Bunsen Labs. Two of the riskier things are adding Ubuntu PPAs or unknown untrusted. There we go. We should be fixed now. But uh, let me continue this upgrading at the same time, and the screen is all the wallpaper is all janky now. So will this one close? When I close this one, it probably will. So I'll just open another instance of the terminal. Put this in there. There you go. Terminal's not fixed. Now the conkey. 
Now I gotta fix the conky. So the conky's gonna be somewhere right here too, I believe. B.O. Conky Sessions. BL Conky Session. There we go. Now it's fixed. All right, so I can close this. That's done. And now we're just waiting for this to finish. All right. So this is a Bunsen Labs with the Open Box Window Manager. So uh, let me just look at some things while this thing is doing this so we can uh save some time so the way i got it set up now i got the full uh, 1920 by 1080 screen so fills up the whole place uh got my uh conky fix so right here we have some shortcut keys to uh commands keyboard commands so you got like alt plus f2 run dialog so let me try that alt f2 run program that's how that works Alt F3, Alt Menu, Alt F3, and we get like a D menu on top. All right, and then uh, Super, Main Menu, so that's the Windows key. I'm clicking on it, but I think this is a, uh, right now it's currently uh, taken over by the, uh, by the D menu. But let me try Super again. There we go. Then super plus tab, client menu. So that'll be the menu for this box. Super plus else terminal. That's a weird command. Huh. And it logged me out. Why would it do that? Oh, the super else lock screen. That's that's a T. I should I should be putting on my glasses for this, huh? <laughs> Anyways, you get it. So you got commands for your web browser, your file manager, editor, media player, volume control, task manager, lock screen, logout, and screenshot. And you also have some Windows controls. So if you want to switch windows, Alt Tab. If you want to close a window, Alt F4. Minimize, Alt F5. Toggle maximize, Alt F6. Super plus arrow, the half. The half. The tile half screen. Jesus. Super arrow. Super arrow. Super alt arrow. Tile quarter screen. Okay, so. Alright, put it on that side. Put it on that side. Put it on top. Put it on bottom. Yeah, pretty good. And. This run program, it's begging for a program to run. It just doesn't want to go away. There is no Firefox installed. XDG, open. And I should open Firefox, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, probably not. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh Jesus, more questions. PHP admin, it's, it's installing the whole web server. They must have used the, uh, they must have used the, uh, please provide a password for PHP admin to register with the database. It's installing like it's a web server, but it, I'm, I'm using it for a, as a desktop. Okay, more stuff to install. Press any key to continue. Finish, hit any key to exit. All right, that is finally done. So close this. Close this. I can close this, and I did not get a prompt to uh, reboot, so okay. All right, so now we're uh, starting from uh, zero. So we got our conky fix, got our screen resolution fix. This is our panel right here on the left side. And on the bottom, we have our system tray. We got a clock. Clicking on it, it opens up Outrage. 
and you gotta click on it again to make it disappear. You got your uh, system tray applications. There is no menu here because your right screen, the right screen, the right click on your mouse is your menu. So if I anywhere on the screen, if I click on it, it opens up my menu. And on this menu, we have a type to search. So as soon as you start typing, start typing, it'll search for a program. So Firefox is empty, and then I just back out, and that's how that works. So. You can do that, or you can select run a program. I'm not going to open that up because it wants you to. Anyways, then you got a couple items on this menu. You got a terminal, web browser, file manager, text editor, and media player. Then you could uh, take a screenshot or a quick screenshot plus upload. Then you have a utilities menu. So you have an app finder, catfish, take screenshot, SSH, and remote desktop. Then you got your places. This is like uh, your folder options. So you can browse here. You got documents, downloads, music, picture, public, templates, videos, bin. So this basically shows you all your, everything in your home folder. Then you got a recent files tab, user settings. So basically anything to do with Bunsen Labs and Openbox will be all right here. And this menu, I believe, is going to be the GJ, the JG menu. Then you have your keybinds, conky controls, tint tool to edit your uh, panel. Then you got your system settings. You got help and resources. And then the regular menu uh, layout is going to be in all applications. So if you select this portion right here, it's just it's like opening a regular menu. So right here you have accessories, development, graphics, multimedia, internet, Office, settings, and system. Then you have a lock screen and exit. All right, so let's open up the terminal. Uh, super plus T. HTOP first. And we do have HTOP. It's running 661 megabytes on the RAM. And the load average is 0 0.7, 0 0.27, 0 0.22. Now, if they had that, let's see if they got NeoFetch. There we go. Bunsen Labs. And the kernel, 6.1.0. Desktop environment, Bunsen Labs. Window manager, open box. Theme, Boron Aqua. Alrighty, so let's see what other programs that they have installed. Accessories, we got archive managers, bulk rename, GTK, nitrogen, mouse pad. Got a few uh, XFC programs. So let's take a look at the file manager. And we already saw it, it's Stunar. And on the help. Take a look at the about, Dunar 4.18.4. Take a look at some others, see what else they got. Development, got your text editor. So let's see, what text editor were they using? Mousepad. Mousepad is a simple text editor for the XFCE desktop environment. 0.5.10. And media player, what does it have? MPV. All right. So you got a media player, you got a file browser, you got a, a text manager, you got a, a file manager. So you got your standard tools, but you're gonna want to get on a, on a terminal and download your regular tools because uh, they're using. A, I guess they're trying to keep it all lightweight and easy to use, but. You know, if you want more modern stuff, you're going to have to add it yourself. But it's not bad. Everything's uh, working good. It's a good system. So, yeah, no complaints here. I'd recommend it. So, if there's something you want to take a look at, uh, I'll leave the links down in the video description so you can download it and play with it yourself. All right, that's going to do it for me, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.